Welcome back, not a fans, and I might have said 0k fans last time, I don't know. A lot of you probably are 0k fans, but regardless, welcome back, not a fans, we are going to have Pepe Ampere versus God, because that's the game that I'm sure you've all been waiting for, and Pepe Ampere versus God, it's going to be probably the game of the tournament. Both players are high up there for favorites to win, but only one can, of course, because that's how tournaments work, unless you're playing a 2v2 tournament, but in that case, it's only one team. Regardless... Only one of these players can, in fact, win. We will find out who it will be as soon as the game gets going, because right now, the players are just setting up their initial spots, getting themselves going, and once that's done, the game can begin proper. So we're going to be on Small Supreme Lake, which I've checked out a little bit. It's an interesting map. I mean, it's as you can see, it's got a lake. Very important thing. However, the south side does allow for bots pretty well. I'd imagine that players probably going to go for bots, hovers, and maybe ships in the mid game. Just to try to make sure, because there's a lot of metal. It's kind of hard to see since I can't seem to get metal view working properly, but there's a lot of metal in the sea. Actually, I think it might be impossible to see. If I go under the water, maybe it's... Yeah, you can kind of see it if I go under the water. Ah, uh, that's reclaim. Anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of metal. That's the important thing to point out. The players are going to want to claim the sea as soon as they can. And looks like Pepe and Pedro are setting himself up a bit more to claim the sea than Gota is. Gota looks like he wants to get the ground first. And once he's done that, maybe go up to the sea. Actually, it's a little incisive right now. Once he gets that set up, then we can go. Wait, what the... Why is there... Oh. Apparently there's something Pepe wants to show me for how... Oh, an old... there actually has been a game between these two on Supreme... Small Supreme Battlefields. Just for reference, they're still setting up though, so once that's... set up, then we'll... just go. It looks like... Oh, yeah, Driven. F4 actually doesn't seem to work for Metal View. I think F4 might only work for Metal View if you're a player, not a spectator. Anyway, game has begun, so got it in the southeast corner of the map. He is, well, okay, same as economy. We don't know what he's going to forget. He is going for arm, and Pepe Ampere wants to play core. Nothing too special right now of his build order yet. Actually, nope, nothing special. That's a metal extractor. The absolutely nothing has become special about anything that any player has done so far. Something about not. I can't really say much about what they're doing at the very start. At least, I don't know enough of what they're doing to really say easily. So... We'll see how quickly the players go to try to take the water. I think... I think that Gota is going to be more likely to go for it, but I don't know. I'm kind of used to Gota playing 0k and Akron, where he just does anything he wants and it works. I don't know how he plays Nada, because Nada is a different game in a lot of ways. Very many ways. It's a very different game. So I think... I've heard that he apparently plays a lot more by the book in Nada than he does in 0k or Akron. It's kind of interesting. He's actually the only player I've casted in any game that I've casted. Every game I've casted, he has been there. And Kbot Lab coming up for Pepe Ampere. God... Goda not quite... There we go. Kbot Lab coming up for Goda as well. Both players want to take the south side first. They don't want to go for the coastal bombardment yet. But after a little while, they'll probably get a hover constructor and maybe get a sea factory for actual sea control. I'd be a little surprised if they do go for pure sea. They might just go for hover instead. We'll see what happens, though. It's really a matter of what they feel most comfortable doing. Early scouting coming up for Pepe Ampere. He has an AK coming up as well as a bit of con some construction vehicles as well. And an early voyeur. Good idea. Because the Voyeur is going to be handy. Mobile radar. I mean, it's cheaper than getting actual dedicated radar, and it's, well, a lot faster, too. Although it's not built yet. And Gota does not have... Or he does have radar, apparently. Or does he? Nope, not yet. He just has line of sight. So once this 
Well, he's not going for mobile radar of his own. He's going possibly for static radar. So I would say Pepe Ampere is a bit of an advantage for Vision right now. So he's going to have an easy time seeing what Gode is up to once the... Where's that radar? Where'd that Voyeur go? The Voyeur should be here somewhere. Nope, apparently not. Okay, I guess that got aborted. Or no, it's not aborted. It's just not coming up yet. Hard to tell. I, I don't know what the order of construction is. There's no way to see what that is. It's one thing that's mildly annoying about the way that Nada has its construction set up. I have no idea when something is going to be built. Anyway, Gota is... He, on the other hand, is pretty much just going for Peewees. Quite a few construction bots, which, not surprised, he's probably going to go for a lot of reclaim. I am not surprised by this at all. Although I probably would be surprised if I was more of a Nada player, but he's... Probably just going to try to reclaim a lot of this. He is building a lot of melee structures as well. And probably going to go... There he is. Already going to the north. Not even probably. He's going to the north very quickly. Pepe Ampere, on the other hand, is... He's building a lot of power here. Not a lot of melee structures. He's focusing on the south for metal. He does have... He does have a Necro here to build up stuff. Gota, on the other hand, getting metal to the north. And I think he's going to have a slightly easier time... He's going to have an easier time defending this section, that's for sure going to be harder for coastal bombardment to make any difference. Pepe Ampere, where his tower is, he can actually be coastally bombarded very easily. But, he is... Well, let's see what he's going to be doing. Getting more wind gens. Okay, Gota is confident in his economy. Pepe Ampere is way behind his economy. Gota actually going for a very quick shipyard, too. And I... Th okay, where's the reclaim? Because there's reclaim for Gota right now. Okay, it's no longer reclaim. He's reclaiming a rock from the looks of it. Pepe Ampere just moved to the center to try to deal with this. Does he have a Voyeur yet? He does! Okay, he finally has a Voyeur, so I know what he's going to be up to. Let's actually look at his point of view. Yeah, so he's aware of... His side, he's aware of that Goda is coming in pretty strong. Well, coming to the south, not that strong. The, the storms will chase away the Peewees pretty well. But he is aware of a lot of the stuff going on regardless. He does know about... Pretty much everything in the sea, if there was anything in the sea yet. Which there soon will be. Gota going for that very strong. Gota, on the other hand, does not have any radar. He's purely based on line of sight, has not scouted out anything that Pepe Ampere is up to. Which I'm starting to think that it's going to be... Oh boy. I, I th I'm thinking that scouting may actually not be that powerful in Nada. Or that common in Nada. It looks like Gota is trying to go for it. No, he is going for it. He is definitely trying to get through enemy lines and figure out what's going on in the back with a couple of expendable peewees. While being in the shipyard as well. And shipyard coming up for Pepe Ampere. A little bit later, but still going for shipyard. And now a couple Excaliburs coming up. And I think they have enough range to actually bombard that tower. Let's see. Yeah, they would. If they go right next to the shipyard, at least, they would have enough range to bombard the tower. Mind you, they'd be killed by the tower in the process. That's the one thing to bear in mind. That tower has a pretty high attack range. Like, that tower has an attack range of 1300, while the destroyer here, the Excalibur, has an attack range of 820. Not a bad attack range, mind you, but against a tower, it's not particularly useful. Now, on the other hand, if you were to go for one of the missile cruisers, the Rogue here, I don't see what its range is. Hmm. Never mind, doesn't show me in the tooltip. Regardless... That would still be probably a better option. I don't think he's going to go for that, though. I think he's going to try to just take the sea, make sure he has it, probably get rid of the shipyard here if he can. I doubt he's going to go for something too strong with that. Now, where is the next thing? Where's the next factory? Okay, I think Goda is going to start building another factory pretty soon. He has a lot of metal built up. He has the entire north side as his. Pepe Ampere has not been taken his north side, by the way. He does not have all this metal up here. He does still have a fair amount of metal, but he's 30 to 40 right now, so Gaudet has a metal advantage. Pepe Ampere getting an Enforcer, which is his own Destroyer, so both players are going for the relatively cheap ships. And that Destroyer Excalibur is up. Which one actually has quite a few. Yeah, ships have a lot of weapons. Most of them are easy to use when you broadside. It's kind of what you want to do. Gaudet will probably do that, of course. Now, on the other hand... On the land, he has quite a few static defense turrets set up. And now getting radar, does have... Well, does have laser turrets set up. He does have... Apparently transportable. That's kind of cool. Anyway, he does have the center 
decently well taken. Pepe Ampad, now I think he's, no, this destroyer is in the radar shadow. Pepe Ampad is not totally aware of it. He probably knows that something is around here. He probably spotted it briefly. Got it on the other hand, he does have this radar over here and the destroyer as well has radar on it. Like pretty much all ships have mobile radar and sonar. Destroyers are, actually I might be an exception to that. Let's see. Excaliburs have radar and sonar. They are no exception. And they are, well, able to... He looks like he's going for coastal bombardment from the looks of it. I don't think that's the best idea. I think the best idea would be to take out these metal extractors. I don't know if he's... A, okay, he should be aware of these by now. He's got to be aware of these. And yes, he's going for them. He is going for those metal extractors and wants to make sure he has a proper broadside on this ship here. They are... Okay, ship going up. Got trying to move away from this attack. He wants to make sure he's not taking too much damage. 20, well, 2,500 to 2,500. Health's pretty even, but God taking refuge in this cove here. Going to present the broadside once again, trying to make sure he has a good angle on there. And it looks like he should be able to. Nice torpedo usage there as well. I mean, the thing is that torpedo is probably not dodgeable, I'd imagine. And another reef getting in the way of the two of them. It looks like Pepe Amper is going to have to retreat his enforcer. Not, well, same health as Excalibur, but just... Not quite able to take it out, and the Excalibur ends up... Both sides retreat, but I think the Excalibur... In terms of percentage of health, Excalibur kept a lot more of it. It's at 50% health, while the Enforcer here is only at about 40% or so. And another Excalibur coming in here to finish it off, or at least take out more Metal Extractors. But the Excalibur is being... Sorry, Enforcer is being repaired. At this point, it's going to be rather hard for this Excalibur to actually deal with it. It's going to be able to take out the Metal Extractor, though. Nice kill with that Torpedo. Admittedly, I'm crediting the unit AI more than I'm crediting the players. Now, God, further to the south, he is trying to... He is blocking off the north side of this territory while attacking with his ships. And this Enforcer getting repaired very nicely. Pepe and Pater making darn sure it works. And that is... Oh, okay, good to know. Torpedoes... Interesting. The torpedoes need... Looks like the... Apparently, according to Draven... The ships running away, their torpedoes hit when the ones chasing them don't hit. So if you retreat, retreat micro works well for ships, apparently. That's the important thing to pick. That's the takeaway from that. And the shipyard now building a railgun cruiser. This does, in fact, have the range to deal with the tower. I think God is going to just go for that straight. And another shipyard being built. Okay, Dre... Oh, sorry. Pepe Ampere really wants to take the sea. At this point, God has not actually built a second factory. He has been building a lot around the map to use his metal. No, never mind, never mind. Hovercraft platform being built up. No tech for either player, though, from the looks of it. I do not see any tech towers for either player, so I think that we're going to be seeing... No, we're going to see Pepe and Pedro trying to take as much of the sea as he can. And it looks like Goda is going to try to take as much of the land as he can. The hovercrafts will be pretty effective at taking care of these bots, I would think. But we'll see. Really, the thing that's going to be effective at taking care of the bots is the bots. And we do have Mortys here. We do have Mortys. So Pepe and Pedro does have an artillery advantage here. Hammer's doing what they can, which isn't bad, but still, they, even with the range advantage from elevation, which is pretty substantial, they are not going to be... These guys, they get a range advantage from the elevation, that's true. But even with that, they aren't able to hit the forces too effectively. The Excalibur, just not quite in a range, and this Enforcer fully healed up. Has the other Excalibur been healed? I don't think either Excalibur has been healed. They're self-healing, but they haven't themselves been healed, and... Got it not going for harassment. He knows he can. He has enough. He's had enough radar coverage to know that he can, but he's not going for it quite yet. And construction sub should be aware of that too. That being said, this is the important thing. The Battle of the South. Looks like Pepe Empire is managing to push in somewhat, but God it does have this hill. He does have the range advantage. If Pepe Empire gets too close, the hammers will just destroy everything he has. He won't be able to deal with that. Even with the high range of the Mortys. And the hammer range just gets improved quite a lot by that hill. So, taking that hill is going to be the key thing for Pepe Ampere to do if he wants to get through this. That being said, God has the same challenge going down. If he wants to go through here, he needs to somehow get rid of these forces, despite the fact that they are outranging him in general. The Excalibur doing what it can, and actually dealing a fair amount of damage. Not quite killing anything yet, but able to deal some damage. Nice coastal bombardment, however, this Excalibur... Oh, I totally missed that, because that's the rating I was looking for! This Excalibur here... Able to get rid of the metal extractors to the north. Able to get rid of these metal extractors even further north. And able to also get rid of stuff going on. Well, some of the defensive turrets here. 
Defense turret and a builder as well, but not quite in range, and the enforcer stops it, or at least tries to stop it, but this island is going to get in the way. The enforcer has to go around the island. I think this, the Excalibur will have time to get around that. Nope, going around the other side and just trying to run away. Now, where's that railgun cruiser? There's the railgun cruiser. There's the Conquistador. That will be... Oh, that will be devastating. How many weapons does it have, by the way? Lots of railguns, some depth charges, some flat cannons. So, basically, all ships are mobile weapons, weapons platforms, very powerful ones at that. And Executioner, cruiser coming in as well. This is a similar idea, mostly based on cannons. I believe this one is much more powerful front siding than broadsiding. Or at least it wants its front to be exposed. It kind of wants to have a 45 degree broadside, not a full broadside. But we do have the Conquistador is coming in. Looks like one of its railguns has actually been used up, but a couple of construction hovercrafts around it just to make sure that it's not going to be taking too much damage. Of course, you want to do that. Very nice by Gauda, by the way. Just having constructors around his forces. So is Pepe on Pei, I should point out. Both players doing this. But it doesn't matter. The Railgun able to get rid of that particular Enforcer. Now, the Executioner is still a bit of a threat. That's the same class of ships. That's going to be a threat. That's going to be a problem. But at the same time, Gauda's... Look at the economy he's taking here. And all the radar as well. Pepe on, on Pei, on the other hand, he's only got coverage of half the sea and not even that. A lot of shadows in the way. His economy is still keeping up. It's keeping pace. It's behind by about 10 metal, but it's been consistently behind. It's not... He's not like half his economy or a third of his economy. He's been growing his economy as well. Not as quickly, but still growing it. Now, Gauda, on the other hand, does have the center. He's really got it. He's pushed a bit further past mid. So both land and sea, he has really gotten the center hard. Now, land fight... Kind of a no-man's land. Neither player really wants to engage... And Oh, nice use of EMPs there. I wish I could remember what it was that actually does that. I believe it's something that self, the self-destructor just goes in, but I don't remember exactly what does that. However, got it. Nice use of EMPs regardless. Able to take out the center on land, completely unimpeded, or almost completely unimpeded. There's some resistance from a few thuds here and there and a few Mortys, but that's about it. All these hammers just going to bear down on the ground forces. Actually, the ground forces able to get out EMP in time, but still... Numerical advantage wins the day on that one. I wish I could remember what it was that does that, because I think it's a... Do Storms? I don't think Storms... No, they don't do EMP on death. It was just... Because that was one of Pepe and Pear's units, the Storm. I'm not sure what does that EMP thing offhand. I apologize. I... I was told I feel really dumb that I forgot. I don't think it's anything that suicides. I think it is something that shoots, but... Unless the Conquistador's rail... No, it's not that. I'm not sure exactly what did that, but regardless... Oh, Infiltrator. That's what he's pointing out. It's the Infiltrator that does that. Okay, that would explain it. It's cloaked, and I guess it's going to reclaim when it dies. So the Infiltrator came in. Nicely done by Gauda. Taking out the center. Now, the C game is going a bit more in Pepe Ampere's favor, I think, but it's more a matter of they haven't engaged yet. Really, we won't know until they have engaged. Crusader as well, which looks like it's more of an anti... Oh, more anti-air, anti-sub. But this Railgun Cruiser here, that's the thing he needs to worry about. Now, at the same time, the land is the big problem. I think God is going to win just because of land here. That's basically going to do it for him. And Geothermal Plant going going to go down. I think we'll find out if it explodes on death. I don't remember if these do. I don't know if these do on ha offhand, actually. In 0k, they do. In Nada, I don't know. Nothing. No battles been joined yet on C. And it looks like... What in the world? Are these doing some sort of radar disruption thing? I'm not entirely sure. I guess it's a radar jammer? I'm not... I apologize. I don't know offhand. I think... I'm guessing these guys have a radar jammer on their... On them. Let's see. Crusader. Nope. Doesn't say. If someone can let me know about that, I can't really pull up the Excel file... Or the Google Docs file I was told about this for unit types. I don't believe that actually gives me information on each individual unit. Sorry about that. I my research was unfortunately incomplete because I don't I couldn't find a complete source on everything. Also, there's a lot to remember. But I'm making excuses now. That's not a good thing to do. What's a good thing to do is to cast the game. And the game is actually going pretty well for Goda once again. I mean, Goda has an economy advantage. He is pretty safe on metal. He's safe on energy. And he's gonna harass this side down. I think he's gonna go and. Oh, that sonar there, that was the blinking going on. Okay, good to know. 
Okay, so sonar can be active or passive. Interesting. So I guess if something is active, sonar gets spotted more easily? Not sure. But it doesn't matter because the railgun cruiser is coming in. It's going to take out the ship factory and actually point out that not, not enough ships have been being built. Not enough anything has been being built. There could have been ships being built this entire time for Pepe Ampere, but he hasn't been completely neglecting this factory and now he's going to die. He's going to die as a result of that, but yeah, that's going to do it for him. He loses that factory and not quite losing it yet. Now remembering it exists though and building more stuff from it. But go to at the same time. Now has to worry about more forces coming to the south. I don't see any infiltrators. No, I do not see any at all. There are no infiltrators apparently being built right now. This conquistador still being a bit of a problem. However, the executioner trying to be just as big of a problem. We'll see how that works out. And more. Okay, all the destroyers going down. All the destroyer class ships for Pepe Ampere going down to Goda's destroyers. And Goda's destroyers are being repaired this entire time. As is this. Actually, his conquistador needs to be repaired really badly. He needs to get out of the way. He needs to avoid getting hit. All the Excaliburs and Crusaders are going to be able to take care of everything else. And Mandel Blade being set out oddly. It looked like it had a pretty high damage, low shot weapon, though. Yes, it does, actually. Very powerful missile attacks, which I can see why I went for that first. Getting an Inquisitor as well, a Battle of Cruiser, looks like it is basically end game C, but I don't think this factor is going to last long enough for that to happen. No, maybe it will, actually. No, you know what? With the Executioner and the main tower firing on these destroyers, I think that might do the trick. These Scalab there's Crusaders, I should say. Both of them are destroyers. Both Crusaders and Excaliburs are destroyers. Crusaders seem to be more heavy destroyers to Excaliburs, but even then, this factory is going down. It's not going to be able to build it in time. It is going down, and... Oh, I forgot to point out, there are Hellfish now. Oh, Toadfoot, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Let's see, Gota did go for air. I completely missed that because the sea battle was very exciting. Two air factors for Gota. Pepe Ampere not going for air of his own. Actually, not going for a lot of factors in his own. He had a lot invested into the sea, and now he's lost that. And actually now is accessing metal pretty badly. Gota, on the other hand, not accessing metal. He will be soon, but he just built another factory to get rid of that. But no more factories have been built here. Coastal, De Coastal Defense Gun is being set up. That will help a bit. But really, right now, all that matters, this Conquistador needs to be healed up. If it can get healed up, it can take out this factory. Sorry, take out the factory. Take out the tower. Take out the command center. Just go around here and just tear it apart. That'll basically be game. There's no sea right now. All the ships right now for Pepe Ampere are dead. All the shipyards are dead. Everything is dead. He's dead in the water. Only has All he has is underwater metal extractors. That's his only hope is the fact that they are underwater. But really, the Death Charges will come in, the Sonar will come in, that will see them. And honestly, right now, it looks like God just cares more about Coastal Bombardment to push his forces in here. Oh! Darn it, the Coastal Defense Platform killed the Conquistador pretty much in one shot. That, well, okay, it was damaged at the time, of course, but still. That is huge, and this other, this Crusader is stuck, and it's going to get killed, too. I think the, Coast, the Omega will be able to finish it off. Let's see, is it going to kill it? I think it will. No, it won't. Just missed. Now we're Hellfish coming in. Looks like they may be trying to deal... No, Toadfoot, sorry. Trying to deal with the Omega. Almost killed it, but it is getting repaired pretty constantly. Another Toadfoot coming in to finish it off. And there we go. Omega's down. Coastal Defense is no longer concerned for Gota. They might want to build another one of those Conquistadors. That or build a Rogue. One of the two. Either of those would be a good option. Anyway, he is going with a lot of Crusaders on here. And... Nice coastal bombardment force. All the forces of Pepe and Peter being forced to the coast by God's land forces, then being killed by the Crusaders. That is pretty huge. But it doesn't much matter because it is going to be game. Pepe and Peter has lost this. He does have he has a hovercraft platform, but it's too little too late. I'm not sure how much how effective it would have been in the first place, but that is still too little too late. And God is going to take this game. So Pepe Ampere is going to go into the losers finals and God's won the winners finals. And the tower is taking a fair amount of damage, getting repaired pretty well. I think it's just self repair. But that is otherwise going to be it. I think Pepe Ampere is going to surrender at this point. Hovercrafts from the north, K-Bots from the south. 
and far more forces coming in. Go just pouring out forces coming in to deal with Pepe Ampere's. And that is basically it. The tower, not quite at half health yet, but it's getting close. These Crusaders are just doing, well, doing some things to it, but really what's going to matter is all these hammers. The hammers are going to finish it off. They're going to deal all the damage, and that's going to be it. Like Pepe Ampere has long since lost his game. He has a shipyard. He's trying to do his best, but he has long since lost it. And that is game. There it goes. Game is over. Pepe Ampere has lost. We're going to be seeing, well, whoever wins between the two of them. It looks like Daniel Kalina has won against Mac and Pau and Draven. Or Draven, their game is still going on. Gode is, well, he is going to be playing the winner of the losers bracket, which is going to be Pepe Ampere versus De the winner of Daniel Kalina and Draven. Which is probably going to be the next game I cast today. Stay tuned for that.